Okay, today I'm going to make a short demonstration video of some different boosters, all in conjunction with um, the Fryer Mayday um, box, to show you how you can get a very good Brian May sound um, at low volume um, in a house re for rehearsing at home. Um, and we'll just go through some of the boosters now so that you can see the equipment that I'm using and get a rough idea. Not all of it is on at all the, set, all the same time, so obviously I'll be swapping things around as we go. Right, first of all, um, I have a, uh, f this is the Danson guitar with Addison pickups. That is going into, in the first demonstration, will be a Range Master. It is the new version of the Range Master which is out, uh, which I bought recently up in Denmark Street. Probably reasonably close. You'll see it's quite a lot thinner um, than other boosters, um, and, but does give that first Queen album tone. Other boosters I'll be looking at here is there's a homemade Harold booster there which was built by somebody within the RS community. Uh, it's beautiful booster, nice and warm and rich and it's the same styled booster that was uh, built by Brian's father to um, help him once the original Range Master was lost. Um, it's got a very warm sound um, reminiscent of Queen 2 and Sheer Heart Attack. And then finally there's the Cornish TB83 which we've all known about. It's the standard booster which most of Brian's career was used in various different boards um, and that's an unmodified version. Next to that booster there's another booster here which just adds a little bit more gain which Brian used a lot. This is a homemade box here and it adds um, very similar sort of circuitry to the other boosters but there's a gain control on it so you can use it to add extra sustain extra boost and just a bit of extra crunch and it helps clean up the um, the tones of the strings actually it's quite a nice um, added little extra gives you those little squeaks and cracks that you get with Brian's sound um, so it actually he used it a lot more than I realized from that I'm going into the Mayday uh, booster or Mayday box set it's, it's a relatively clean box it doesn't really add a lot of extra tone to the guitar but brings the sound of the amps um, into a manageable level. Um, I've got it set the way that Greg recommends. It's a really really great little box and I think actually better than attenuators for getting a nice clean sound at low level. Um, so it's a box I use a tremendous amount. Out of that I'm going into a splitter and from one side of that splitter I'm going into the Boss CE1 chorus ensemble which Brian used from the 1980s onwards. Um, again, I'll switch that in and out appropriately. So one part of that, the stereo out, goes into one amp and then there's a clean amp sound going out of the uh, splitter box into the other amp. These are two modern amps. Um, there, One is a C2 and one is a C2X. So one's got blue speakers, one's got green speakers. Um, and uh, there we are, that's all the equipment. So now I'll just start with a quick demonstration of how the different boosters sound and we'll cut in between the two. Okay, so here's the first booster. This is the Range Master. It's quite a sharp sound. Um, it's not anything like as rich and as warm as the other boosters. In this demonstration, um, it is just going into the two amps. The extra boost isn't on, neither is the chorus. So it's just the, the booster itself. <laughs> into um, a different type of booster which his father built which uh, we'll call the Harold and I'll give you a demonstration of that now it's much richer and warmer so this is the Harold um, there's no extra boost here it's through into the Mayday and the chorus isn't on but it'll give you a bit of an idea of how much warmer this sound is <laughs> Thank you. 
and here is with a little extra boost. <laughs> Okay, uh, this is the final booster, which is the TB83. Um, this is probably the closest now to Brian's sound with through most of the Queen years while Freddie was around. Um, here I've got the extra booster on, and I've got the Mayday switched on as normal, and also the uh, chorus pedal. So it gives you a clearer idea of what that sounds like, the whole lot. So this is probably the closest to the Queen sound that we would know. <laughs>